My good friend, today I'm sharing a message with you that is captioned, Love Unlimited. The parable of the prodigal son describes the nature of straying, repentance, and God's forgiving love. While reflecting on the parable, I was struck by a previously unnoticed detail. The parable, as told by Jesus, begins, A certain man had two sons. The younger said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. That is Luke 15, 11 and 12. The father's reaction to his son's audacious request is intriguing. Without resentment, denial or displeasure, he quietly acquiesces to the request. The father shows a profound depth of love and understanding which is quite a contrast to our typical parental reactions today. When life's harsh realities hit the son, it was the memory of his father's house, of the love and acceptance he knew there that beckoned him home. Anger or disownment might have deterred the son from returning back home. The father's non-judgmental approach provided a safe haven. Now, the lessons in this parable extend beyond family dynamics, resonating with the broader spiritual community of the church. It challenges God's people to reflect on our reactions to those who err or stray from the church community. Do our actions and attitudes foster an environment conducive to reconciliation and return? Through this parable, Jesus exposes the stubbornness of the human heart, here being represented by the prodigal son, vis-a-vis -vis the boundless, forgiving love of the father. The father's concern for the well-being of the son transcends the mess of the child. The father's focus is more on restoration. Thus, once people mess up, we should rather be like the father in this story or our father in heaven, focus on love, understanding, and the creation of a welcoming space for redemption to take place. Is there anyone straying in your church? Can we extend a loving hand even to say that, dear brother, dear sister, you are always welcome home. May the Lord bless us so that our lives, our families, and the bigger family, which is the church, will always be a welcoming home for those who are straying. God bless you.